Hey, thanks for coming to check us out again here today at New York Caternix. We're back and we have more videos coming up soon. Thanks for the patience. I really appreciate it. We're going to do a winter dispatch today. I'm not going to do the dispatch on camera. We've done that enough. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this here plucker uh, that I got and we're gonna do a review on that and remove feathers, keeping the skin on this time and get some quails ready for Thanksgiving. So stay tuned. Uh, make sure you leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel. We're always coming back with more, like I said, and we're coming back with more videos a little bit later this week. Uh, we're gonna be doing a few different things. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when that happens. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the water started on the stove inside because of the burners outside. Uh, they're, you know, kind of small. Not really good for getting the water up to temperature, but I'm going to get it up to about 165, 170 and then bring it outside. The reason I'm getting it above the 140 to 150 threshold is because it's cold outside. It's about 35 degrees and I've got a heater set up and everything. But, you know, the ambient temperature is going to bring the temperature of the water down. So, you know, take that into consideration. And yeah, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and get this outside in a minute. Then I'm going to go over to the website and I'm going to lower the prices on the New York Caternix t-shirts. All right, so I finally got the water right where we need it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the quail. I'm gonna do one at a time. It's very important. I'm do one at a time. Don't put it in for, you know, too long. I'm gonna do about 30 seconds. As soon as we take it out of the water, we're going to get the pluck in. So let's start the drill. All right, so as you can probably see, because it's a really cold day, it's kind of difficult because the temperature is going down on these things really quick, but the feathers still come off really easily. And of course, you may have a couple of feathers left to pluck, uh, all of which will come off really easily, especially once we get this thing over to the sink to get it cleaned up. Uh, but all in all, I really like this feather plucker. It makes the job a lot easier, again, 
For those of you who have subscribed to the channel, you already know I've had a problem in the past attempting to pluck feathers off of quail. Haven't had much luck at all. So I'm going to deem this one a success and I am going to give this feather plucker a positive review. All right, so let's finish getting this cleaned up. I'm going to get these in the kitchen and we're going to get everything finished up. Okay, so now we're over at my sink, which is a mess. I have thoroughly destroyed this thing today. And I'm definitely going to give it a cleaning after I'm done with this. But like I said earlier, it's going to still be pretty easy to get the rest of the quills off of the bird. They'll pull right off or rub right off. I'm running them under cold water right now. Again, just catching whatever we didn't get using the tool, which again was really effective at getting rid of these feathers. I'm really surprised. I mean, I've seen videos online, but you know, you never know until you try it for yourself. I would definitely suggest you guys trying it for yourself. Now this one, the skin did break a little bit, uh, possibly because I had to water up a little bit too high. Uh, you know, I was in a bit of a rush. It's getting dark earlier these days. So, you know, less daylight, less time to work outside until I get some better lighting. But I'm gonna give them a preliminary clean because we're gonna gut them and clean them again afterwards. Go ahead and put that one back in the bowl. I'm going to take care of this one. Again, using cold water to remove any loose feathers. And it makes it really easy to have the running water. So all you have to do is rub. And usually they'll come right off. And this one, I could have had the drill do a lot more of the feathers, but I stopped because I was tearing the skin apart big time uh, and keep in mind also these birds these two particular birds were older uh, they were born probably uh, five months ago or so and they had really tough areas of feathers to remove right along the fat deposits and that's mostly where I'm, you know, removing the feathers from. And like I said, I did stop early because of the fact that it was tearing at the skin. So there's a few more areas that I could have definitely done a better job on. So don't let this be a meter as to how good of a job that plucker actually does. All right. And as you can see, before we got them, we have two almost perfectly clean and feathered quail skin on. All right, folks. And there we have it. Freshly packaged quail that was just dispatched and processed not too long ago. Uh, we have this shrink wrap, so hopefully it won't get any freezer burn. Didn't have a problem with that at all, but I figured I'd make my birds look a little bit better. Package them a little bit more nicely in the freezer. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get these birds into the freezer. And thanks for watching. All right, and I'd like to thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit the notification bell as well. So we're always coming back with more videos. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks again from New York Eternix.